Uh, good afternoon, and it's a very hot day today, and the grandchildren are smashing my house up, so I've escaped into the cabin, and I'm filming my Prussian army, which I promised a few people um, over the last few years to do an update. Uh, I think the original film had a quite a bad camera, and I've added a few bits and pieces to the collection, uh, and so today's an ideal day to um, get filming. Uh, I'm going to concentrate purely on the infantry in this section and then I'll bring in the cavalry and artillery and hopefully join it all together. The army itself was um, is probably about 20 years old now. Um, again, sadly underused, only because obviously different uh, projects come along. But it, re it remains a, a favourite of mine. Uh, I first started, it was the first time ever I painted black undercoats um, in the War Games Army and um, when I first started I was still using enamels. Uh, the first, so first of all this, uh, this section here is made up of Prussian line infantry. Uh, it's an all metal collection and the majority of the figures are by Elite and uh, when I first started I started painting up different battalions of different regiments and I should have, what I should have done is been more regimented, uh, no pun intended, and stuck to um, formation building. But as a as newbie to it all, I started painting up, the, say for example, this battalion here is from a Kohlberg regiment, uh, Silesian, Silesian Fusiliers, I must admit I've forgotten quite a lot, and at the back are some East Prussians, and um, the guys at the back are very old, Hinchcliffe. But they, they fit in okay. This was the first battalion of line I painted up. Um, again by Elite. In gloss, gloss varnish. Uh, a bit battered and tattered. 11th Regiment, 2nd Silesian. Uh, eight figures to a base. Four bases to a battalion. Some rather lovely Calpe combined grenadiers. I think the infantry regiments had uh, small detachments of grenadiers and they were combined and these, um, the way you tell the difference, I think if I remember was the lapels on the jackets. Uh, Calpay are a particular favourite of mine. I think that just fits over there. So those ones there have red lapels and these should be white. Oh, there you go. More Hinchcliffe or Connoisseur behind. These guys, more pr more fusiliers, East Prussian fusiliers. I've got out of the habit of uh, labelling the underside of stands, which is uh, unfortunate because it's nice to see the history um, when you look back on days like this. There's more musketeers. Ah, that's quite a long time ago. One of the easy armies to paint Prussians. And this is the basing style I then developed, which is uh, with a couple of little twists I've, I've kept all the way through. So that's um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine battalions of line. The Elite Miniatures sculpts are, I won't say crude, uh, they're not the most advanced, but you put them in battalions and uh, they look great. I'm not overly expensive still. Moving around here, we've got seven battalions of reservists. Um, these here. First battalion, 21st Regiment, and I 
do believe, if I remember, these are British manufactured uniforms for the Portuguese army. Did they have standards? Not too sure, but they always look nicer. The standards. Lots of Fry Corps. Again, just did a single battalion where I think you can have a regiment with cavalry and artillery. Again, with the gloss varnish. Yes, yeah, so I was pretty churning him through in uh, 06. I think there's some very interesting skirmishes uh, in Austrian uniforms, perhaps. One of my favourite uni units, again, all painted in enamels. And this is 12th Regiment Reservists. Yeah, Peter Fitzgerald, the designer. Certainly knows his stuff with campaign figures. It's a bit harsh, those trousers there. I think that must have been a um, a tester, which I should have stuck in the middle somewhere, but uh, you overlook those things. Well, there's another one there, but a bit too harsh. It's, um, he does a variety of different sculpts for each battalion. A guy there with a bandage head in the back. Beauties they are. Now what I did for a while was um, go on eBay and pick up certain figures, um, bits and pieces here and there to make up full units. And I came across this one here. And I bought this quite cheaply. Um, I've left it as is. Again, I think it's from the 21st Regiment. Um, but I don't know who they're by. I think they're a small, they're true 25. Um, anybody recognise that? The swords are pins. So this guy who had painted or converted these knows his stuff. I picked up the battalion for, I can't remember, £25. So, anybody recognise those, please let me know. Move along a bit. Got some more elites. See, look, I should have written down who's who. It's going to be light. That's my light. Uh, the Eagle Isles spot a. Warlord Games figure there. And in the front row, the I do believe that the reservists, the officers, retained their grey jacket. It was an Uberok, I can't remember what that was called. And that guy there, I think he's a Calpe. That fits it okay. So they were the dark blue in that regiment. And I believe this is the second battalion of the regiment. Once again, by Elite with a very bent flagpole there. Look, let's sort that out. Right, let's see if I can move that around there. We'll have a look at the land there. Right, so just a bit of shaky cam coming up. I'll move around the lights. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Tarantino, eat your heart out. So we've got three, four, five, six, eight battalions of land there. And this is my favourite battalion. This is the, uh, I went for the Elbe uh, district. First Elbe, one of the battalions, uh, 09. And again, this is from Calpe. 
and there's so many variations I could get, I could get a firing line together. Uh, consisting again of four stands. Jackets um, sometimes varied in the battalions. You get uh, browns, greys, blacks. Um, and it just gives the unit a bit of character. But as long as you keep the soft cap the same colour. So that guy's there is in grey. But you keep the continuity with the caps. And it all blends in hopefully. Sorry about that. Got a big chunk out of his hat there showing bare metal. So you've got falling wounded and uh, hopefully makes up quite a nice looking battalion. Uh, the second one there is by Elite and this came with a couple of figure variations, uh, not as much as the Calpe, but I think Peter Fitzgerald. Do some sculpting for it. I'm, I'm not too sure. Is that one? And again at the back there in high gloss enamels is another Calpe battalion. They're different greys and browns, and again keeping the hats all the same. And, um, there's even some. Poor buggers with bare feet. Very big get bent bayonets, but as long as they stay on. That one there has got a um, pioneer figure, which is rather nice. They really are superb figures. And moving round. There's a few more there. And these are Hinchcliffe and Elite. I think there's some uh, connoisseur in there as well. Um, a lot of these were bought second hand where I painted them all up. Um, so they all match. And again went for the Elb, and then I think the white or Pomeranian. Now what were the red? I can't remember what the reds were. They were Rhenish were they, or Magdeburg? It's a long time since I painted these. But um, I think when I started painting the Elb, the light blue colours, I just thought they were, it was a bit like uh, blokes who worked in ice cream vans. So that's 23 battalions there of infantry. Move the light over there. It's very rare that they see battle all together, but um, it's quite a joy having them. So a bit of shaky cam, and then I'll do the um, other bits and pieces. This, uh, Turn it around again. Take that off. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. With hindsight, the um, flesh tones on the grenadiers weren't, weren't my best. Right. So next up are the slightly less glamorous uh, skirmishes. And I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, 13 units, six men each. And these are originally based up for Grand Manor rules, but um, just as well in black powder. A uh, mixture of manufacturers down here. We have some Silesian Jaeger, 
rifle armed, um, cow pay, more cow pay. And what I have done is paint up some skirmishes for the reservists and give them land there, skirmishing land there for their brigades, which uh, seem to work okay. Again, with a mixture of uniform. Uh, the Kalpa Jaegers are rather lovely. I even remember finding out the colour of the sword knots. See there, red for, I can't remember now. So a long time ago. Nice big chip on his shako. There you go, red sword knots. They do some rather splendid figures. Now at the front, uh, I did notice many years ago that the War Games Holiday Centre was selling off some old battered and tattered figures. Um, I don't think it was Mark Freeth in charge then, so I picked these up. Uh, 12 figures. And you can see they're all torn. Not torn, but bat you know, knocked around a bit. And I wanted to keep them as is, so I just changed the basing on them. Um, so a lot of history there somewhere. You can see what looks like highlights on the Shaco is in fact bare metal. They've been used so many times. Uh, so I've got some Jaegers and around this side I picked up some Fusiliers. Game with the stabby sword. Again, I don't know the history of those. I'm not too sure about the white circles. It was the white circle when they went to Russia, possibly. Fusiliers have the white band around the Shaco, but I painted up some fusiliers, sorry, musketeers to look like fusiliers, and I certainly won't tell anybody if you won't. So that's those. Moving over, got the command figures. Again, a variety of manufacturers. And these are the latest Perrys, which I did a couple of years ago. Lovely figures. I think all the figures are lovely. I think um, this guy, this pose, or this one. And I use him as a aide de camp messenger for scenarios. Now this guy here, didn't paint this one up, this is my mate over in the States who sent me this. And uh, they originally had a square base with a um, dying Frenchman on it if I remember. And so I took him off the base and put one around, uh, just suits my command stands a bit better. Paul 1970 I think, uh, I think I know it's Paul with not a bad paint job at all this is my favourite uh, Calpe I've shown it a few times I wanted a big divisional commander 
and the inspiration for this stand was this two figure set here by Warlord Games which I think originally had a standard flag bearer this guy uh, so I swapped over for a, a musketeer and I had him walking down this path after defeat with the high and mighty looking totally ignoring him but this guy here fits in well and this is a, a Calpe figure looking up thoroughly dejected if you can see him there looking up at the so-called betters and he reminded me a bit of Dave Dave Crosby from The Birds. Lovely figures. This one here was from um, Elite. Finishing gloss once again. Another messenger type, that one there, from Warlord. Not overly sure about the uniform on this one, but uh, helps out in scenarios. This one here, from Calpe. Roadside Cross, I think possibly from Bicorn, I'm not too sure. And um, yeah, I like that one. I fit the stuff's the little chips all over. Yeah, big, uh, I need to go through really. Let's see what we got. I think I had in mind that this guy it's uh, levels of command, A certain person at the top, middle, bottom. And this chap here was um, part of a campaign we ran at the club many years ago, which is where the Von Ketteringham name came from. And this is Von Friedrich, who was a messenger for Von Ketteringham. And um, we played a battle of Grawfels. Um, and this message he was carrying was to my mate Phil, who had a Russian division of grenadiers that never turned up on the day. And uh, so I made this up, and whenever I, I used to play Phil, I used to present this to him for the day, just to remind him that he let me down seriously, or let the Prussians down. That's that. And then further around, we've got the guns. Three batteries. A uh, battery at the back is a battery of howitzers by Calpe, uh, Elite Miniatures. I can't remember if they're six or nine pounders now. And big boys, 12 pounders from Calpe again, which were rather lovely. Always dish out a little bit of damage, these. These some horse guns, are they? I think I'm always uh Thought that would be a good idea, a battle winning weapon, no doubt. A uh, bit disappointed with my blue on this battery. I think it's a bit too stark. I, I think I'd lost the uh, the will to live uh, this far into the project and uh, just rush them through. So, um, must do better. Are they Calpe or are they? Elite. They look like elite, those, ha those heads. Can't remember. Quite good remaining behind uh, your troops, just lobbing shells over the top. Um, I always thought that'd be a battle winning weapon, but never turns out that way. So that's the artillery, command, and skirmishes. And finally, the cavalry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five regiments uh, made up of uh, Crassia by War Games Foundry. Quite like these. Uh, they're quite a small sculpt, more 25s and 28s. 
cuirass is, but they actually wear a cuirass. These are, I can't remember what they are now. Which regiment? Um, they haven't really done that well in the battlefield, I must admit. At the times I have had them out. Um, but again, variation of pose just right. So there's 24 of them. Then we've got more War Games Foundry, and this time it's um, Landwehr Cavalry. Silesian. And I think these were painted, again painted up in enamels and gloss varnished. Uh, I think these, this was a unit which I based in three large squadrons, representing a unit possibly at Bortzen. I can't remember. As you can see, the lances, lances are, again, need some repair, always getting knocked off. But I did like, um, I do like these figures. The soft caps, I should know the name of that. Um, some are taller than others because they were used reinforced to look more like Shakos. Um, God, that's a long time ago. More of a speed bump when it in games these. They don't. Uh, they've had a couple of good fortuitous games, most possibly. So in black powder, I just fill those as a large unit. And there's some some blokes with beards. Yes, I need to do a bit of TLC for these. Don't want hard work to fade away. Right, moving over next, got some Dragoons by Calpe. Okay, another 32. And this is when I forgot that the Trampeter's horses and the Officer's horses should be a different colour. But uh, I suppose on campaign, anything can happen. And these represent the new mark, original, the new mark. Yes, pink facings, which weren't all that easy to paint up. And again, enamels. Four squadrons, two charging and two shouldered arms, uh, which don't look too bad. That's a nice one, that's a nice figure. They've got the trumpeter, who should be on a different coloured horse, and a guy. I think I used the oil wipe method of painting these horses when I look at that. Something that I didn't, which I stopped. I think because the oil took so long to dry, they just gathered dust. Moving across, some the Passars, uh, Death's Head on the Shaco, um, classes as elite in their uh, games. Again, got the falling horse there, and again with um, oil wipe method. Could I paint twenty four hussars again? Possibly not. Never say never. But um, yes, the thought is a bit daunting. Again, the trumpeter on a brown horse. I, I think you can have um, a Prussian cavalry. You can have a. 
another squadron of um, Jaeger, volunteer Jaeger, which will uh, bolster the numbers, but um, we'll see. The Now, the green Hussars, I bought these on eBay, stripped a lot of it down, painted them up again. But again, I got lucky and someone had soldered the... These are absolutely vicious on the tabletop. Uh, so I tarted them up, rebased them. And uh, yes, they look quite colourful. And they were my. They painted the horses in correct colours. Yes, look at that, look. Don't get that under the fingernail. So that's five regiments of cavalry. And that's my Prussian army. Need some lances. Need more. I need horse artillery and possibly another land bear regiment. Um, but that's the army. Hope you like it. Um, sadly underused, as I said before. Uh, but seeing this lot now uh, has given me a bit of enthusiasm to do something else. After doing something else, after doing something else. Um, Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching.